सी एम ए यू एस ए और द सी पी ए विच प्रोफेशनल कोर्स विल हेल्प मी द मोस्ट विच कोर्स इज राइट फॉर मी डू दीज क्वेश्चन बॉदर यू डोंट वरी वी हैव गॉट यू कवर्ड इरफत हियर एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न अबाउट द डिफरेंसेज बिटवीन सी एम ए यू एस ए एंड द सी पी ए सो दैट यू कैन टेक द राइट डिसीजन फॉर योर सेल्फ लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट वॉट इज सी एम ए यू एस ए सी एम ए स्टैंड फॉर सर्टिफाइड मैनेजमेंट अकाउंटेंट विच इज कंसिडर्ड एज द हाइएस्ट सर्टिफिकेशन फॉर फाइनेंस एंड मैनेजमेंट अकाउंटिंग रूल्स दिस सर्टिफिकेशन इज इश्यूड by the IMA or the Institute of Management Accountants what is CPA CPA stands for certified public accountant CPA is a license issued by the AICPA the world's largest accounting body what are the key differences between CMA and the CPA number 1 the first difference is the eligibility criteria CMA USA only requires a bachelor's degree to become certified but CPA requires a master's degree or 150 credit points to become certified number 2 the average global pass rate for CMA USA certification is 45 to 50% while the average global pass rate for the CPA is somewhere between 48 to 52% which is very similar to what cma pass rates are number 3 the cma course can be completed between 6 to 9 months because it has just two parts while the cpa course generally takes between 12 to 18 months to complete all the four parts number 4 the next difference is the exam the cma usa exam is divided into two parts part 1 financial planning performance and analytics whereas part 2 is strategic financial management the cp exam on the other hand is divided into four sections or the four parts the first part financial accounting and reporting or the far paper business environment and concepts or bec auditing and attestation or what we call it as aud aud and the last paper is regulations or reg reg number 5 the next difference between the two is the scope of job opportunities as a cma usa candidate you can look into positions such as financial analyst management accountant internal auditor cost accountant or even a finance manager whereas as a cpa candidate generally you work as a public accountant tax auditors consultant financial advisor or accounting managers the cma usa course cost approximately 2000 dollars including the membership fees entrance fees examination fees and the training fees on the other hand cpa course requires approximately 4500 dollars of investment including the exam fees application fees license fees and the training fees number 6 exam windows testing windows for writing the exam the cpa exam have been switched to a continuous testing model that happens throughout the year on the other hand cma exams have three testing windows january february being the first window in the year may june the second and september and october being the third exam window conclusion the cma usa and cpa have their own unique benefits and it's not a matter of one credential being better than the other but what matters most is which one is better for your career and building the life that you want remember when it comes to time cma has two parts whereas cpa has four parts so in case you are constrained with your available time for your studies look into which one you think you can manage two or the four second thing that you must look into while deciding between cma and cpa is the investments 
CMA cost approximately 50% than what CPA cost, which is around $4,500. CMA can be completed in six to nine months, quite realistically, if you look at, whereas CPA approximately takes 12 to 18 months, sometimes even higher, if you find any paper difficult to pass. Based on all these factors, I would leave it on to you to research, put in little more efforts and decide which one is the right choice. Remember, whichever course you join, whether it's CMA or CPA, the most important point here is not joining the course because that is not going to do much value addition unless you have been able to complete it. But before joining, ensure that you have done those analysis to see which one suits you better based on your today's available time and investment that you are willing to make into it. Complete the course, whether it's CMA or CPA, it is certainly going to add a lot of value to your profile. Not just that, if you choose to do CMA first, remember CMA and CPA has a lot of syllabus in common. If you look at the two parts in CMA, the same two parts are also covered in CPA. In other words, CMA and CPA has 40% to 50% syllabus in common. So whatever you're going to study in CMA, you're also going to study exactly the same thing and little more in CPA. So it's just a matter of choice, or you may say the matter of decision or deciding the sequence of it cma first or cpa first which one let me know in the comment section which one do you think would be a right choice for you so what are you waiting for go enroll now link is in the description below we have now reached the end of this video hope you were able to properly understand the difference between the CMA and the CPA certification. Do you have any other question? Please leave your question in the comments and our team will respond as soon as possible. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos on CMA, CPA and many other finance courses. Till then, bye-bye, take care. To stay up to date on all the videos that help you understand CMA better, be sure to like and share this video as well as subscribe to the North Star Academy's YouTube channel.